Am I the asshole? For calling my friend's proposal disrespectful? Alright, so here's the deal. My friend M27 decided to propose to his girlfriend of three years, Dina. F26. The two met at a bar pre-COVID, and were just chatting at first but it quickly led to more and eventually the two of them moved in together and discussed marriage. Personally, I think they're a great match, and my friend, Stephen, has never been happier. He told me that he was planning to propose to Dina, and I was ecstatic. Well, the day of the proposal hits, and I called Stephen the next day, which was last night, to congratulate him. But he wasn't happy. He told me that Dina had said no. I was shocked, and asked if he knew why. He said that she didn't like how he proposed. Now here's the thing. I knew he was going to pop the question, but I didn't know how he was going to do it. He thought it would be romantic to propose at the place they a bar. Already I could kind of see why she might not like that, but I decided to ask her privately because she and I have gotten to be close. She confided in me that it's because she told Stephen multiple times that she didn't want to have a public proposal, and that she was horrified he would do it at a bar of all places and that she felt disrespected that he didn't accommodate that. I told Stephen that his proposal was honestly really disrespectful and seriously kind of messed up, to which he told me I was being an insensitive R and should be supportive as his friend rather than talking down on him, but I don't know if I'm wrong here. Am I the asshole? For calling my friend's proposal disrespectful? Edit to clarify I am actually female, for those saying him. Stephen is the asshole. If his GF told him not to propose in a public setting, he should have respected that. The bar thing doesn't bother me BC it's their first date. What's bothersome is he did something she specifically asked him not to and now his feelings are hurt BC he didn't listen to her. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. He's the one who's not listening to what his partner is saying. Not the asshole, ask your friend once he's calmed down if he wants you to lie to him. Tell him that you are his friend and that you want him to learn and grow. Let him know that you will now question him as to what kind of support he is looking for, honesty, or a shoulder to cry on. Not the asshole Stephen should have the bar higher. X200B. I'll see myself out. Not the asshole. I would have said you're the asshole had they not discussed the proposal before. But she told him multiple times to not make it a public proposal and he did the opposite of that. I would be pretty pissed too. She had one request, and he couldn't even deliver that. Not the asshole Dina made it very clear that she didn't want a public proposal and Stefan completely ignored her. I understand his thought process about being romantic but not at the expense of his partner. You called it like you saw it. Not the asshole. When to respect his partner's wishes he learns, then ready to propose he will be. Not the asshole. Also some important lessons for the men out there and women, if you wanna propose. 1. Never ask someone to marry you unless you know beyond a reasonable doubt the answer is yes. Marriage should always be discussed before a proposal comes around. 2. If your BF or GF has specified a way they want to be proposed to intimate and personal, in public, listen to them. 3. You do not need to spend 3x your monthly salary on a ring. Talk to your partner. Find out if they like diamonds, other stones, something handmade, etc. Not the asshole. Your friend knew what his GF wanted and didn't want in a proposal and he didn't care. He had an idea in his head about what he thought would be romantic and completely disregarded her feeling on the matter. So he either wasn't listening to her when she told him her preferences or he didn't care. Neither is a good look for him nor a good quality in a future partner. Not the asshole. But, um. If it makes you feel better, my dad proposed over the phone. He literally called mom and was like so, um. Wanna get married? She hung up on him and didn't speak to him for a week. Not the asshole he can't see it now but it's was for his own good you were honest with him. If he doesn't listen to her now what does that say about their future?
Calling out our friends for the poor decisions they make is what a good friendship is all about. Keeps us in check like asking strangers on Reddit if we are assholes. Hopefully after his bruised ego rebounds from being wrong he can accept the truth and make amends with everyone and get their proposal right. Wouldn't a real friend help you not fuck up a marriage? Especially since you are his partner's friend, you can actually give some insight help. It's normal to ask friends about proposal ideas anyway. Way to make a woman feel special. Yikes. Natar. Not the asshole, though you probably were being insensitive since he was sad about it, but it's Stephen's fault for not respecting her. The location per se, wasn't disrespectful, but it was definitely disrespectful that he didn't listen to her and propose privately. Not the asshole if this is a sign of what's to come, I really don't blame Dina for saying no. She was very clear about her feelings on a public proposal, but he went ahead and did it anyway. And I think he needs to hear that it was disrespectful from someone other than her. I think you did the right thing. Not the asshole. Dina please don't do a public proposal. Stephen I did a public proposal. Marry me? Dina no. Stephen how awful. So he didn't like that his GF didn't like what she specifically said she didn't like. Natar. Not the asshole. He wasn't thinking about his GF's wants when he proposed to her, and you told him that directly. Hey bro, I talked to your GF, she plainly told you she wanted something private and personal, and you chose a bar? Oof, you messed up. How dare you? I made the effort to propose at all and that should be more than enough for you and her, you're a bad friend for calling me out on my BS. Did I miss anything there? Not the asshole. Not the asshole he did the exact opposite of what his girlfriend wanted for a proposal. He disrespected her by not listening to her wishes and not abiding by them. Not the asshole. Public proposals are stupid and a great opportunity for embarrassment. Not the asshole, insensitive and disrespectful. And ignoring your intended fiancé and doing it at a bar isn't. Hopefully he smarts up quick or he will lose her. Not the asshole. Your buddy has a serious listening problem. She literally told him she didn't want a public proposal and he proceeded to propose publicly. You only pointed out the painfully obvious. Nah, see some girls like grand, public proposals, and that is okay. Other girls are terrified of that because they some of us have social anxiety, be what if we aren't prepared you're out here proposing in public we look like a hobo, see if we say no, we're the ones who look like the asshole. Know your girl partner prepare accordingly propose in the right setting. Not the asshole. Being supportive of a friend doesn't mean saying they're right about everything, but sometimes requires telling a hard truth. We can't tell from your e-cap, but maybe there was a more tactful way of saying it? The bottom line is that your feedback was honest, and hopefully he won't harbor a grudge over it. His sentiment was sincere about the place they met, but he really disregarded her feelings about the public proposal. Not the asshole. Your friend ignored his girlfriend probably soon to be ex, hopefully and you supported her, as they had had this conversation multiple times. That's not being a bad friend, that's being a good person. You friend just got a big kick in the pants. He didn't hear what his GF wanted. He decided for himself, he thought he knew better. He didn't. Not the asshole. P.S. There are some couples that can get over a bad proposal and work it out. Good friends are honest with each other when they screw up. I have been helped more than once by friends calling me out. While it hurt at the time, long term I was always grateful that they did it. Not the asshole. Not the asshole sometimes being supportive is telling them the truth they don't want to hear. Not the asshole. She explicitly told him she didn't want a public proposal. Not a problem that you pointed it out. That said, probably have been best to just keep your mouth shut. Let's all collectively face palm for Stephen. What on earth was he thinking, going against Dina's very explicit and repeated requests?
I have social anxiety and if I asked my partner multiple times to never propose in public and he did anyways, I'd say no too, bc it is disrespectful. People usually dream for years of what their proposal will be like to have their partner completely miss it all because he didn't respect my wishes. I'd be pissed. Not the asshole I'm going to say good 90 of SOs do not want a public proposal. It just seems like you're trying to pressure that individual to say yes. Natar. You reached out to the girlfriend to see what your mate possibly did wrong and it turned out she told him numerous times no public proposals. The most disrespectful part of your friend's proposal is how he ignored his potential future wife's request to not have it in a public place. That's an asshole move right there and probably shows that he often disregards her input in the relationship in general. Definitely not the asshole. If he doesn't respect her opinions or wishes now, I'd hate to see how he treats her after the wedding. Not the asshole. Doing it in a bar isn't disrespectful per se not in and of itself I mean but doing it in a bar when your would-be fiancé asked you not to do it in public at disrespect isn't choosing a bar over a nice restaurant, it's choosing to do it in public when you know your partner specifically doesn't want that. Not the asshole. She told Stephen multiple times that she didn't want a public proposal, but he didn't listen. Yet he is calling you insensitive? Stephen should grovel a bit, hold off for a while, then think of something really romantic and private for a proposal. There are so many possibilities, but he has to think of what she would like. If she gives him the chance, she may very well realize that Stephen is just not a sensitive guy and really doesn't listen to her or take her needs into consideration.